I looked at my watch and I thought, it's 8.30 in the morning and I've been to the end of the world. From El Chao Town, we hiked out for two or three days. I travelled in Patagonia on a, a small expedition cruise ship. You've got crevasses which seem to drop for miles beneath you and you're, you're casually, after a while, leaping across a sort of two-foot chasm. When I went to Patagonia, it was the Argentinian side, uh, so I headed down to this clapboard town called El Chaltan in the far south of Argentina. We put into a, a glorious bay uh, with glaciers, snow-capped peaks, crystal clear water. You've got no phone reception, it feels like the end of the earth. We were actually very lucky to make land. The night before, um, the gusts had been so strong that the monument, which is a, a, in the shape of an albatross, had actually been shorn off. I didn't see anyone for two or three days until we actually got to the foot of this incredible ice field. It stretches for miles and in the distance you could see these three or four figures coming down towards us and they looked gaunt, exhausted, and it turns out these were three or four Russian climbers who had been holed up in an ice cave for two weeks trying to climb a particular summit. And you suddenly realise this is a place that, that you shouldn't take lightly, that you can get stranded. I think the most incredible moment for me really was to step foot on the incredible ice field. It, it stretches almost, it seems like, the roof of the world. Sitting there and, and looking out and just seeing nothing, all you could hear was the carving, the gunshot cracks of the glaciers. The moment you turned back and looked across, which looked like a country the size of England, and it's all ice and nothing else. Looking out and knowing that Antarctica is beyond, um, I, I think those opportunities are few and far between. For people visiting Patagonia, really do your research. Don't, don't just turn up in Patagonia expecting to see everything. It's a huge place. The way to approach it is in bite-sized chunks. Understand what you want to get out of it. If you want to go and hike and see the glaciers and, and do something quite extreme, then I think heading down to El Chaltan would, would be right for you. But if you're looking for the beauty of the Norwegian fjords on a scale unimaginable, then head west and head over to the Chilean side. And if you just want even just the highlights of it, even think about a cruise. You see an awful lot um, during your four days on a, on a cruise. You'll get the opportunity maybe to do a couple of, uh, spend a couple of days on land beforehand. You'll see possibly more than you would if you opted for a land-based holiday. It was everything I hoped it to be. It was raw and it was real and the people who are out there were, were some of the hardiest people you'd ever meet.